One of the interesting things about Tyler is that he has a master's in sociology and brings a very unique interdisciplinary perspective to issues of business. To understand technology commercialization, it's, it's not just the objective taking of an idea and, and seeing how technology develops into products. It's trying to understand how a whole infrastructure of actors can work together with a variety of personalities and egos to actually figure out which ideas ha are, are, have uh, better application possibilities and other ideas, and then to get collaboration to happen across the science business interface to make this commercialization happen. It, it's not the superiority of a technology or research or the science that underlies it that means that you're going to have something that's commercializable and practically useful. Uh, it could be practically useful, but it won't get picked up. It's the whole, uh, there's a social infrastructure around these things. So what I'm looking at is, is how this gets built, what the roles of the different scientists and different agencies are in building the structure that surrounds these different technologies, and then ultimately what lines of research make it out of the lab, into patents, and what sort of patents make it into useful technologies. I've been lucky enough uh, in my career to take some things from a vial and work with people to bring them out into the real world on several occasions. That's a gratifying experience, but it takes several years. Nothing gets out into the world without a champion who just won't give up on it, period. And really, you need a technical champion and a business champion. There's a variety of different kinds of university officials, government officials, business development people within companies, within institutes like the National Institute for Nanotechnology that are trying to figure out how do we commercialize this stuff. There's millions of dollars being poured into, into fundamental science with the idea that it's supposed to spur diversification of the economy and new uh, forms of economic growth and development. So Tyler's research directly speaks to a, a lot of different kinds of processes that are happening uh, in front of us and, uh, and, and can provide Im uh, important practical advice to uh, a variety of folks who are, are, are trying to figure out how to do this stuff. We are looking for where impactful patents come from. The patents that get picked up by other patents that are highly cited and generate a range of innovations across contexts. And what we found was that these don't always come out of the places that you think they're going to come out of. I mean, obviously you have Stanford, Harvard, MIT, the really big players where they're doing all sorts of wonderful work. But beyond that, where the really interesting and really novel stuff is, the stuff that's getting picked up by a wide range of different technological applications, it's coming out of schools like the University of Alberta, who are not in that elite tier yet, but are making investments in things like the National Institute for Nanotechnology and Tech Edmonton. They're making those investments, and what's happening is the research that's coming out is enabling developments across a range of different technological domains. It's a really interesting finding we have. We're not 100% sure why that is just yet, but the fact is, it's schools like Alberta that are doing the things that are being picked up in the widest range of technological applications. <laughs>